Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dwarf Fortress, shall we? Continuing our Complete Beginner's Guide here. And, you know, we're mining out this level. Oh. My. God. Okay. And something just happened. So, this stone worker um, created some kind of legendary piece, uh, a claystone ring, and he offers it to our group. So that is fantastic. Uh, and he claimed the workshop, and he didn't go crazy. He had all of the stuff we needed. He, he went into the fey mood, and that's the, up, the upshot. Like, what can happen is they can claim the workshop, and if you actually have the stuff... They produce something amazing for your fortress. So tremendous. I'm going to pause the game and just look at where we're at. Um, we're at a place where, you know, we we don't really have anybody hauling in the way that I would like. Uh, first of all, let me click on this and just repaint this now that the trees have been cut. Uh, to include, Oh, these are holes. Okay, so these are holes that go down below. So uh, what we can do is simply... Um, we're going to have to build some flooring. So we're going to build construction floor here um, out of, yeah, plum wood is great. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to build construction floor right here and click it again and just use these because they're close by. Great. All right. You know, what's interesting is we don't really have... That, oh, we caught something. Look at this. We caught a chinchilla in our cage. So that's kind of fun. Um, how's this dog doing? He's injured. Uh, that's too bad. But he's, you know, all right, guarding the entrance. We have 27 people, but no one's hauling in these logs to the stockpile. So it's always worth um, checking in. And, uh, Thoughtlig, um, Babinzugular has become a sacred luxury. All right. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to open this up and we're going to objects. And, um, this ring right here, Squeeze Crux, the Beards of Goading. Uh, is right here. And... Alright, I'm gonna go look at my people and just see what they're doing. So, lots and lots of people... Um... Let's see, who is hauling? Everybody does this. Okay, great. Everybody just has other jobs that are, like, higher up on the priority, I think. So, for example, we could see what people are doing. Um, yeah, people are storing stuff, planting, cutting gems. There's a bit of a meeting going on. They're making cabinets. Okay. Now, this is the person right here. Meditate on wealth. I mean, what... He performed the rites of the Coven of Coloring in a dedicated temple. And he is meditating on wealth. Okay. Well, it's a good thing to think about, you know, just all of our wealth. That's something that dwarves probably think about a lot, right? So going back to just, you know, where we're at, I'm going to look at this floor and nobody's claimed this so if i were to like go to zones you know you can see who has claimed which bedroom and you know nobody's here so we have plenty of open beds we have a reasonable amount of food and drink so we should attract more dwarves eventually and uh, you can see our planting is going well i like to just check in look at all this drink that we've got uh the medical area needs to be fixed Okay, 
this is going to be our tomb we're trying to finish up. Construction inactive. Somebody do it. Get that tombstone over there. We need to bury... We've got a dead dwarf that we need to uh, bury. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, so we got some migrants. Now, we only got three, which is a cry and shame, but this should uh, expedite our labor very nicely. And I'm not even going to assign them to tasks at the moment. I'm just going to let them roll, and hopefully they will get to the job of uh, hauling around, just you know, picking up these... These logs and everything, getting things inside. Here's the migrants. They haven't even got in yet. But you can check. Um, we've got these new migrants coming in. And um, let me see. You're coming in. And what is your thing? You're a good engraver. Okay, great. Um, so let me just go to labor. And you're going to be like uh, not cutting but just engraving just engrave you are assigned so do this and sometimes i like to have people um ooh, gem cutter and setter okay labor gems um that's ah, crafting craft stuff uh i could make this person their own workshop but eh and then animal trainer Okay. Sickly. I don't know about this. Now, when you trap an animal in here... Okay. Uh, you know, we need to... Have a place to put... Prisoners. Things that we've trapped. So, we want to get on that. Now, somebody is sleeping in this bed. Now, people told me that, you know, I'm used to old school Dwarf Fortress, so I would have to assign everybody to a bed. But it was supposed to be the case that they would just come claim a bed. And maybe, um, I don't even know if you need to make each, like, assign it to a person or even make it like this. I'm just going to go ahead and make bedrooms. So that people know that they can sleep here. And you might not even need to do that. You might just be able to be like, all right, let's just check this out. What if I did that and just made it like a four-person bedroom? I'll see how it goes. Because I want people to sleep in the bedrooms and not in the dormitory unless they have to. Because these are you know, generally more favorable uh, spaces that will... Make the dwarves happier. All right. Okay. Good. And then we're going to start building. We're going to go furniture and we're going to go uh, cabinet for everybody. Oh, do this again. Build furniture cabinet and keep building use closest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put cabinets everywhere. Everyone gets a cabinet. Every bedroom has a cabinet. That's my deal. Okay, great. And then... Amazing. Now we need to start really decorating. And what does really decorating mean? I don't have any statues, and I'm kind of flabbergasted by that. I usually have a ton of statues. So a lot of these jobs are done. And I'm going to add a new order, which is, you know, statue. And we're just going to make, you know, rock stone statues, basically. Do, 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 do. Yeah, rock statue. And well, this needs to get bumped up. I put statues all over my base. For obvious reasons. Utility. Okay. 
And then now we're going to go ahead and say, if there's less than 10, make 10. Awesome. Okay, let's go. All right. Oh, we have 31. Okay, good. The chain has been completed. So that means that we can, with the copper chain, build the traction benches. Do, 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 traction bench, one, um, oh, we got to make it at the workshop, that's right, I'd like three, somebody's on it, okay, you know, it's fantastic to see this kind of camaraderie all right and is anybody and i mean anybody gonna engrave these rooms or what where are you people all right i'm gonna have to um actually it's amazing that like if i push you and i look at this like this guy's got no job he's specialized into mining and um, cutting trees. And this guy's specialized. He should get a job in a moment. Um, so that means that the miners are out of jobs. So we got to give miners jobs. No problem. Now this floor, we were just obviously mining for the gems. Now there's all these jobs right here that they need to do. Now there's jobs right there. Okay. So I'm going to give mining. Sometimes you just have to wait. Awesome. I'm just telling them auto mine the gems and such. And that looks great. So from here, uh, we can go down the floor. Oh, they have this mining job too. So don't talk to me about how, you know, you don't have mining jobs to do. They should get a job eventually. All right. Hey, I hope you're still building this wall. Okay, so we can't make pig iron bars because we need iron bars. Okay, fair enough. Okay, here's the coffin. Somebody better move that. We got a body. Come on, people. Um, I guess they're chilling in the temple. Here's this Coke that's going in like a random stockpile. Okay, so the Coke shouldn't go here at all. Somebody just left it here on the ground. What's all this stuff left here for? What is this disaster? Look at that. What happened? That is possible that maybe... Uh, when the person went to go claim the workshop, they dropped everything? I'm not sure about that. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so this is a stone stockpile, and uh, this is also a stone stockpile. So I'll make a stockpile that's just for coke, I guess. And it will be a do 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 bars and blocks or custom here custom. Um, no, Coke doesn't even go there. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing here. Go all, go back to like. Hmm.
Oh boy. Wrong thing there. Okay. Um. Ah, you could put everything there, but why don't you go bars and blocks? Just make it a bars and blocks. All right. We got plenty of beds. We got plenty of mechanisms. They need flux stones. Yeah. All right. So everybody's working now. Meditating on jewels. Okay, great. Oh, somebody's constructing a building. Is anybody constructing the coffin, though? Okay. Hmm. Okay, they made um, the coke. The order has been completed, so we have enough of that. We have enough wheelbarrows. Good. We have a coffin right here, a claystone coffin. Nobody wants to install that. So let's look at labor and say, what is this? All right, it's time. I hate to do this. Everybody is on hauling already. All right. Uh, I could make, I could specialize everyone. Just turn on, oh, what's this petition? Um, the Coven of Coloring has many worshipers in Saber Pass and now requires a temple complex and a high priest. Um, yeah, we approve it. Okay. So, a temple complex? I mean... Let's look at nobles. I don't know where high priest comes into it. Okay, let's look at this, and uh, what, what, we'll go to zones and we'll click on this and this is what this is a temple and it's about 2000 quality and oh that's right this guy this guy was named the sacred luxury but we would need um we can only recognize a high priest when it becomes a temple complex and it's a temple it needs to be like five times as good for it to be a temple complex. Okay, so I'm nowhere near that. But, watch this. Here's what you do. Oh, no, 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 no. Build, furniture, statue. Do, 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 do. One. Two. Three. Okay, I got two statues coming in. We need more statues. This will help decorate the place. Here. All right, make rock cabinet. We can turn that off. And rock door, we can turn that off. We only want orders at this point. And, okay, nothing there. All right. Alert. Oh my god, where? Look at this. Oh my god. We have two people who have been killed by this giant sparrow. This is a disaster. All right. So this can happen. And this is why you don't want to be outside. Uh... Man. That's sad.
Everybody tried to fight it. Okay. So what this means is we need weapons. We don't have enough weapons to fight anything like that. Uh, and we need to attend to it. So... Um, well, I wish I knew how many blocks I had, like how much ore I had. Let me see. We've got silver, iron, and coke. We got a lot of iron, actually. Okay, so when you have a lot of iron, what you can do is get your people set. So we're going to go ahead and go here and... I'm going to add a new job to make iron spears. Now, I'm going to make uh, 10 of them and get people some weapons. Okay. All right. Let's prioritize that. Because we're just losing people left and right. Um. Oh, I think they killed it. Oh, no, it's not dead. It's unconscious. Okay, well, it needs to be killed. <laughs> no official position. Yeah, you got that right. All right, so we lost two dwarves here. Um, and we're going to need some more... More tombs. Oh, good. They, pu they put this in. Perfect. Um, so this will uh, become a tomb. So we're just going to make this whole area uh, a tomb. Like, for this person. Except, and, um, we're going to... Yeah, you know what? We're going to make the whole thing a tomb. So the people are buried here automatically. We don't need to specialize it. So I'm going to go actually here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to repaint this to the whole room. Okay, awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is why, you know, being outside is so rough. You just lose dwarves. All right, we need some more coffins. I'm going to have to make a job for this. Do I have a job for coffins? No, we always, we're going to need 10 on. Yeah, we're going to basically need rock coffins just on standby always we need to have at least 10 prepared for things like this so you can bury your dead rapidly all right and we're gonna say um if it's less than 10 then make 10. all right fantastic look at this the statues are in and these are actually pretty reasonable quality let me check the uh, this zone. Mm. I don't know if the quality has gone up any. I think maybe it's just not large enough. So we might need to just create a, a much bigger space and make an enormous hall of worship. And we can do that. So we're going to set that out. And we're going to make, like, um, a church to pretty much rival all churches that's that big. Oh, no, not automatic. Oh, sorry. There you go. Just like that. All right. You know, we have a bunch more traps uh, that we could make. So 
so I can put some more cage traps in. Just in case anybody wants to try and come out here and sneak into our base. All right, cool. All right, we got a bunch of traps in. One person is buried properly. Hopefully they can bury the rest. Boy, they spend a lot of time in this temple. All right. I mean, the food is in good supply. Oh, my God. She's fighting it. I think she killed it. Oh, my God. That's my chief medical dwarf. Oh, God. These giant sparrows are really pestering us. Did we get these swords? Okay, yeah, the spears are being built. So we're going to need to get a cobble together a military for a situation like this that we can summon when things get rough. They did build the flooring, by the way. So uh, we should be able to click on this and repaint it to, uh, you know, cover this more thoroughly. Uh, once it's done saving the game or whatever. So I'm going to go here at like that. There you go. Except. Okay. Man, that was brutal. All right. So. Uh, did you guys finish the traction benches? I think they did. So let's go to the hospital. Hospital? How? And build furniture traction bench. Look at that. About to have three traction benches. So this is clay stone, so it might not be able to be smoothed in any way. But then I don't know why it would be selected. Um, the stray turkey has been missing for a week. It's been found dead. I bet it has. All right. They're actually moving the logs, slowly but surely. The logs are getting moved. The traction benches are in. Oh, these people, look at this. I think... I don't know if they're just using these for a bed or if they're recovering. Let me click on them. Yeah, they're injured. They went to the hospital. Oh, my God. The Yak Bull. I hope my Yak Bull can beat this giant Sparrow. What a jerk. All right. Uh... Build, furniture, burial. Now oh, we don't have the coffin yet. Well, did you make any statues? Yeah, they did. Sweet. All right. Well, now that I know that... I'm going to check it again. But if, if building these statues in here does not affect the quality of this at all... Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, the caravan has arrived. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. So we're going to go here. It's time, people. It's time to make some money. This is from our outpost. I think. Diplomacy. Okay. Um, we still want... You know, weapons would be good. Crossbows... Crossbows would be great, especially for dealing with those guys. And then food. 
uh, seeds, uh, plump helmet spawn. Yeah. That's actually good. Okay. Okay. And let's go up and wait for them to arrive at our trade depot. Let's see, where are they? Oh, here they are. Perfect. Okay. So we are going to move goods to the depot. Now, when this happens, now we can get really crazy. You're going to select bins. And from here, you're, we're going to select every bin that we've got that has... We're looking for bins that have items in them, right? And we want uh, mugs. So I'm going to type in mug. And this is 60 items, 49 items, 42 items. So all of these bins that have mugs, we're going to select them. Don't select any of the empty ones. We're selecting the ones that have items that have value like this. And yep, 60 items like that. So we're able to get a bunch and... These mugs, um, you don't need to select these individually because they're actually in containers, I believe. So let's just wait for this to happen. And we're going to... Um, they're awaiting 12 items. That's why we have the bins. Once the items are there, we will trade. Oh my god. All right. All right, let's see how this is going. Now they're only awaiting five items because they got everything. Or most of it. And people are dropping it off. There they go. Three. You could see them too, probably. She's tired. She dropped it off. Just one more. I'm going to request uh, the trader. Broker requested at Depot. The broker. All right. And everything is there. We're just waiting for the broker to get there. I just want to make sure that this person isn't in the hospital right now. Because that would be unfortunate. Oh, uh, this actually might be my bro Yeah, that's my broker. Okay. So if that happens, then you just say anyone requested a depot, and we'll just trade with whatever. Unfortunately, we can't do a great deal because here we are. And then once somebody gets here, the broker's in the hospital, so we just trade. Okay. So you can see all of the bins. These are ours on the right. And we're just going to select anything that has mugs in it. Now, we could just select everything, like just check all bins, and then you could see the value of that, which goes to 12,000. Now, from here, okay, we've got 12,000 in value. What are we going to get? We want to prioritize. Okay. They do have a steel spear. They have a copper mace. They have a pick. They have armor. I mean, but look at this. You see how this is worth 100 and we have 12000 Now, don't get too crazy, because usually they don't, like, their deals are never fair. Um, but the first thing we got to do is just go down until we find... Um, well, let's just search for plump helmet spawns. Here we go. So, I want plump helmet spawn. Like, all of it. 
right? So plants, give me that. Okay. So now we're getting all of these plump helmets. That's exactly what we want. And from there, uh, we're going to try and get some more stuff. Uh, cloth is great. Crafting stuff is cool, you know. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, let's go ahead and get... Uh, I'll take the mace, this this armor, this cloak, yep. And then what we're looking for, yeah, these armor pieces are good, gloves, stuff like this. Um, the shield is fine. Uh, all of this cloth, we're looking for anything that, yeah, give me that cloth. Leather cloth they have an iron anvil they have some other food other food is also good to take just to give yourself a variety but we would like alcohol if possible they have a bunch of cheese that's actually pretty good okay so um, I'll take these splints for medical purposes and then I'm going to scroll up 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 see if how much this cheese I can get all right, here we go. Give me the cheese. Um, now their profit is 7,000. I'm going to try to make this more fair. Leaves and fruit. Give me all that. Um, give me the fish. All right, great. Give me that. All right, amazing. Um, some of these bags are pretty sweet, but they're kind of expensive. Now... Our profit is um, 5700 right now. This gong uh, sounds good. I want that. I don't. It's like a musical instrument. I don't know what that is. Maybe. Uh, uh, buffalo milk. Yeah, here's the alcohol. Ale. That's great. Okay. So... Let's see if we can make this trade right now. It looks unfair, but trust me, I'm I'm giving them a profit of 5000 and I'm going to just say trade, and they're happy with it. Great. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what. I think I gave them more than I needed to right there, but we're set. We got what we wanted basically out of that first one, which is a ton of food, plump helmets, and we can trade those up. We also got armor, we got weapons, we got cloth, we got leather. A lot of great stuff there. It used to be, I think they must have changed it, but it used to be that they were awful at trading and they wanted so much more value than what you gave them. They might have balanced that out and I am used to the old ways, but I'm thrilled with it because we can just create those mugs pretty much indefinitely. Um, and I'm going to say nobody's requested and just unpause it. We can make all of those mugs and put gems on them and just, uh, look at that. Now we went up to 500 food, 30 seeds, 300 drink. I mean, rocking and rolling. Awesome. All right. So we got our first caravan and we're able to sell. That's why we're making those mugs. That's why we do that. Uh, what is in this trap? Oh my God. We caught a giant sparrow. Interesting. I didn't think that we could catch them in that. So we had some people die, and we're going to need to bury the rest. But we're doing very well in terms of securing some food and trading with our first caravan. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.